that's not a social movement in that in the old sense of, mm -hmm. of, the, of social movement. So thinking about like the the obligation or the, the kind of the challenges to abandon that that category so to reclaim you know the genius. And I was really struck you know that you earlier on you were talking about uh, Lenin and kind of this some of these ideas that were predating Lenin and, and that's something that we always talk about the how the Mexican Revolution is completely overlooked. You know the Zapatista Revolution quotes the Zapatista Revolution and then the Mexican Revolution. These are always kind of at the forefront and they keep getting overlooked from you know other discussions of the left and, and so on. But those were also campesinos, <laughs> right? Uh, both sides of the border. Yeah. And of course the Magonistas were played the central role. And there's probably another addition, so before Lenin and before American studies. Right, American studies makes the you know, that move in the early 2000s. Right? And sort of thinking through some of these ideas as a, as a discipline. So if we actually think of the genealogy of, of ethnic Mexicans in greater Mexico, that already happened before American studies <coughs> said that it should be recognized as happening. You know, we have conversations it's about Pakistan and India and the Punjab region and the in between and kind of similar histories of, of figuring out what it means to uh, to cultivate uh, and, and reproduce an idea, a, a way of being that is already that in a in a place of abandonment where you're where you know where capitalism is abandoning certain communities because that abandonment is part of reproducing that marginalization. Then what do we do with that abandon? And how do we see that actually as a strength? Right? So that I mean, just so, there's other places where we've had some of these conversations that are really important. Yeah, differential abandonment. That's a, a tool we've been thinking through. But no, I think it, it was an excellent conversation and I'm so glad that you all could join us. And it says, says um, it's a really joy to have Alan here, and, and you, also you guys. Because, but you know, we've been talking about this stuff for for a long time. Two, let's just say two decades. Two decades, and of course, we never thought we'd be be actually professors. We weren't supposed to actually finish. We were just using the academy to fund us, without really thinking about finishing. And then we decided to finish to to eat. <laughs> <laughs> But it's so good to have you all here and mm -hmm. have, have you all. So, so when, does, when does your book come up? September. September? September. So I'll be back. But again, I'm going to say one more time. I appreciate being here. You know, I, I really am on, a, on another level honored to be able to write about Magdalena Mora and, and your sister and the work that she did and, and recover that because it's less known, right? But also, you know, to be here with you is, I mean, this is an appropriate place to start whatever is going to happen as a consequence of this. So. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.